Let's learn about the color to number utility node. I think I use this node along with color composite more than any other node. So this is a very important one to learn because it's really useful. Let's take our spots texture. I'm gonna plug it right into my plastic here. I've also inverted my spots. So I've got the color of white for the spot and a color of black for the background. Now I'm gonna insert a color to number utility node. So I'll select the connector between the texture and the material. Go to utilities and color to number. Double click color to number and we'll see its properties on the right hand side. With color to number, we're doing two things. We're taking color values and we are assigning them numerical values that will then control our material properties. The other thing we're doing within this node is we're remapping values so we can control the distribution of dark pixels and light pixels. Over on the right-hand side, we have a mode which offers red, green, and blue, alpha, luminance, and value. These are typically different color channels uh, that are contained within an image. Honestly, I really tend to just leave this on value and not use it for anything else. Let's just get an understanding of how the rest of these sliders work now. We have input from and input to. These are going to represent the values that we're taking from this texture and plugging into this color to number node. The keyword is input. So we're taking the values from this texture and we're inputting them into this node. The one and zero in these two sliders represents these values. Output from and output to represent the numbers we are sending out of the color to number node into the node to the right, which is our plastic here. So when we talk about representing the values, we have zero and one. If we recall, I said earlier that white and black are equivalent to one and zero. So white is a value of 100 or the number one, black is a value of zero or the number zero. So if we keep that in mind and we look at these input from and two values, we can say the input from with the value of zero represents the black pixels or color from our spots texture. And the number of one for input two represents the white or bright pixels from our spots texture. Then when we look at our output, meaning it's gonna go into the plastic, so it's gonna be output from our color to number, the zero represents the darkest pixels or the blackest parts of the texture, and the one represents the lightest pixels or the white values. So let's select our color to number node and hit C to color preview. Let's start by looking at the output from and to because that's gonna make a little more sense first. Output to is going to represent the white values that are being sent out of this node. If they're currently represented by the value one and I drag it to the left, it's going to darken those pixels because we're taking the brightness, which is represented by one, the brightest part of this texture, and we're reducing it. We're making it closer to black until eventually it would be pure black. Now we could go to the right and increase this, but we already have pretty much just white and black pixels. So it's not gonna do a whole lot of difference there. Now the output from represents our black values coming off this texture and that's set to zero. So if we increase it from zero, you'll notice that it starts to get lighter. It's gonna do the opposite of what the one below it did, which is pretty cool. So if we don't even change the input from and input to, we can just use the output from and output to to remap the values of this texture and pass on more appropriate values to the next node to the right. This becomes key when we wanna use a texture, but that texture does not have the right distribution of black and white to control some of our properties like specular or roughness or things like that. Now, this will be confusing for a little while, so you're going to have to be exposed to this repeatedly for it to probably really make sense, and you're gonna to have to play around and test it a bunch for it to really make sense. A few more things I wanna say about this node before we close this out, and that is if we were to adjust the input from and input to, we can also get some different effects. So if we look at the input to, we're taking the white values from this texture, and it, if they're represented by one and I reduce this, it's actually going to make them brighter. It's a little hard to see because they're already white. If I set this to 1.5, it should darken them. So this is where it gets a little confusing. If you take this value, if you want it to have the same effect as this one, you have to move in the opposite direction. And the same goes for this next one. If 
taking this up to a positive value here and the output from is going to make that lighter. We would have to go negative in order to achieve the same thing, but we can't go negative with the input from. That's tricky, right? So the only other thing I'll mention is if we increase the input from, this will start to reduce. It's basically like a, almost like a contrast slider. It starts to eat into the less pure white values. So if we set this back to zero, one other thing that's interesting is we can actually invert this texture using this node. Remember when we looked at the color invert, I said color to number can do the same thing. All we have to do is swap these values and we get an inversion. So if we take output from, again, this is the black pixels being passed on to the next node and put one in here and zero in here, we effectively invert it. We basically said the black becomes white and the white becomes black. So we're taking zero and one and we're swapping them for one and zero. So hopefully that helps to explain how this works. Again, it's just gonna take a little bit of getting used to. The other thing that you will notice is once we invert these values, then the effects of the sliders start to change. So now if I were to take this and bring it down to the left, we'll see that instead of the white pixels getting darker, it's actually going to make the dark pixels get darker. So if we go in the opposite direction, the dark pixels get lighter when we increase this value. And now if we were to take the input from and increase it, we're gonna take the white and the white would get whiter essentially. So yeah, a little confusing maybe, but uh, this is a super handy tool. And even if you forget how it works exactly, like mathematically, you can still play with these sliders and get it to do what you need to do. And we're gonna use this a lot. You'll get a lot of practice with this. But uh, yeah, that's my favorite node, color to number.